I've always wanted to wear a skirt for work. Neoprene skirt? I'll have That's to do the neoprene one. Like a Euro fashion statement. Yeah. You wear that in Paris, I'm pretty sure. Sexy red suit. You're working it. You're working it. It's like a knee, neoprene skirt and a, and a boob lifter at the same time. It's all pretty. It's all going on over here. Yeah, I know. All right, you got to back up. You got to give the audience a wide. Oh, yeah. Dead sexy. Yeah, you probably shouldn't do that and that thing. Just saying. Throw on the dinner jacket. Yeah. So I think this one is. Yeah. This reminds me of those moments when I went skiing with my parents, and they'd do you up, and then you go, you go to the toilet. <laughs> there was like a Christmas story that came yeah. ready to go. And you can't move, and Dad just goes, go. <laughs> what are you fitting here for? Astronaut? Go, what are we doing? Yeah, I know we're gonna do a moon landing. Um, we're gonna go uh, sea kayaking in Antarctica. Just process that for a minute. And Hunter over here is gonna lead us, our fearless leader, into the cold waters, <laughs> which is why we have a full dry suit on. My uh, the plan, of course, is to stay in the boat. What's a, yeah, what's a dry suit for? Is that for kayaking? <laughs> it's, it's, for, it's for the moments should you fail at kayaking, which is all on uh, Eric over here. So I'm in charge of as usual, keeping Vivian not dead while she does a magic with the camera. Eric is the engine of our boat. Yes. Mm. <laughs> like a paddle. So, we're all suited up. We've got our dry suits on. We, are, we have an opportunity, there's a, there's a window in the weather for us to launch the kayaks and do some kayaking in Antarctica. So this is the first time I've done that. Because it's the first time I've been to Antarctica, <laughs> so there's a lot of firsts here. Um, pretty excited, but right now I am schwitzing. I'm really, really hot, and I have to stop moving, but also the floor is nice and cold. So I'm going to keep chill before we head out into the Arctic. Which I'm very excited. For me, this is kind of right up there with the Royal Enfields over Rotong Pass. See that episode. We're going out to do a first. And if we're gonna go do a first, not a first time kayak, but a first in Antarctica, first ice water kayak. If we're gonna do that, we're gonna do it in Antarctica. Not only are we going kayaking in Antarctica for the first time, I'm going kayaking in the snow for the first time. This might be the dumbest thing I've ever signed up for. This is pretty exciting. I've kayaked in a lot of places around the world. I have to say I've never kayaked in the snow because it's never been something I've chosen to do. <laughs> this might have been a poor sign up idea of mine. Or maybe the best idea I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I'll report back. James Pittman would put it, Vivian, you've chosen poorly. <laughs> a layer of sea ice here. Um, and that's what we can see, but far behind it, there's a lot more sea ice. And that's all being blown by this gentle wind, but it's, it's gonna slowly move in. So what I plan to do is come around behind this first band of sea ice uh, and come around these icebergs, but not get in too deep to where we get trapped in. We don't want that sea ice to come in and, and kind of sandwich us in between to a place where it, we don't want it will, to get out. It will literally keep you from being able to get out? Yeah, 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 this stuff can really pile in thick. Oh. So we wanna, we wanna play it in a, in a safe way, but still go see what's out there. There's some seals on the ice, and, and those look like they're totally attainable. So we'll, we'll go see if we can find them. Yeah. So I've just learned a new terminology out here while waiting to get in the kayak. This, uh, the water is so cold, it's not allowing the, the snow to melt when it hits the water. And it's called grease ice. It looks like a layer of kind of, I guess, oil in the water. So there you go, grease ice. And I'm going in it. In a boat. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna secure some gear. Alrighty. The crew is now officially kayaking in the snow 
in Antarctica. It is a beautiful day for a paddle. Glassy, glassy water. I'm not doing any work. Well, I am. I'm photographing. My hands are out freezing cold um, and Eric is paddling. So I guess we've divided the manual labor. But it is just stunning. There's, um, there's this grease ice all around us that we've just lent about, which is when the snow, um, you know, the water's, whoa. You okay, Eric? Speak to me, Eric. Happy, happy? Happened. Start so, that in reverse real quick. <laughs> that was very cool. We just watched a, a chunk of an iceberg collapse right off and then a huge wave um, threatened to topple us. But Eric got us in reverse and got us all sorted. Point not. Woo! I thought it would be a little funner ride once I got sorted, but it fell out pretty fast. It's a little spooky not having a paddle. <laughs> so all I had to do, Eric's like, just keep filming, just keep filming. I was like, can I have a paddle? He was like, should I grab my paddle? Oh, it's getting frosty. What's in the water? Leaves? Is that leaves or what is that? I'm guessing it's not leaves. Oh, oh, oh. I'll just push this iceberg back to this the is boat. A, this is an Antarctic grape. I saw that. I saw three or four of them. Is it? Uh, just some. Somebody drop a grape or is it off the hill? <laughs> Sometimes kelp have the little round things, I never left over. Somebody dropped it. <laughs> I'm more cold or more need to pee. <laughs> I'm both. I'm like you are very cold. <laughs> <laughs>